Our first guests are a mother and daughter duo who have co-authored the hugely popular Dumpy the Dump Truck and the Very Fairy Princess series of children's books. Now, their latest is a memoir detailing mom's very own Hollywood princess story. Please welcome to our home the incomparable Oscar winner, Dame Julie Andrews, and her amazingly lovely daughter, Emma Walton Hamilton. Welcome, ladies. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. Hello, hello, guys. Hello. It's so wonderful to see you. We are just beside ourselves that you are joining us this morning. I mean, people have just been walking around singing and smiling. It's hard not to when they know that Dame Julie Andrews is going to be in their home. So your Thank book you. That's very sweet. Of course, your book Homework is a follow-up to your first memoir, Home, and it begins with Emma's birth, and you're moving to Hollywood to star in Mary Poppins, which was actually much bigger of a family affair than most people are aware of. Isn't that right? Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Disney himself came to uh, ask if I would... Uh, get, saw me on Broadway in a show... Uh, and asked if I would like to come to Hollywood to make uh, Mary Poppins and his version, his adaptation of the books. And I said, oh, uh, it was a complete surprise. And I said, Mr. Disney, I'd love to, but I have to tell you that I'm pregnant. And he said, oh, that's okay. We'll wait for you. And <laughs> I had no idea what he meant, but of course, <laughs> I'd never made a movie before, and there was tons of pre-production. And there in the picture is the result of his waiting. Aww. And that's Tony Walton, who actually is was my uh, very lovely first husband and designed all the sets and costumes, including that picture, Cherry Tree Lane, uh, for the movie. And so, I mean, he actually had a lot to do with Mary Poppins coming to life. Oh, oh he did, and, and helped me enormously in very subtle ways. For instance, he said, I have this feeling that Mary has a, a kind of sort of secret life. And so you'll notice that her petticoats are all shades of orange and pink and, and <laughs> fun and peach, uh, even when she's wearing something quite formal on top of that. Or uh, she kicks up her heels once in a while. And, you know, it gave me such a great clue as to how to play the character. Amazing. And her amazing personality. Now, yeah. Emma, I know you actually have your father's original sketch for Cherry Tree Lane framed in your house. That is so cool. Tell us about some of the really... I'm very jealous about that, actually. <laughs> but it, it, would, it would get passed on to her anyway, so there you are. Yeah. Tell us about some of those really specific details that are in that iconic set, that drawing. Oh, well, uh, it's... It was incredibly realistically uh, realized, designed and realized. So dad's goal yeah. was for the streets to have real drains and, and real running water that would, uh, you know, drain off into those drains. And there were actual pigeons in the park and <sighs> on, the, on the fences outside the park and actual working street lamps and, and so forth. So, and the uh, trees were wonderful at the time. They were full of blossoms and all sorts of things. That's right. Spectacular. Doesn't, doesn't look like it there. Show, can, you, can she show the picture? Please do. Yes, We'd love to please. see it. We'd love to I'd see it. I'd be delighted. Let's I just see. happen to have it right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are the odds? There it is. Wow, that is the something original, else. Wow. Tony's original design. My goodness. I mean, what a beautiful name. You're welcome. My goodness. And what a story behind it, too. Jeez. Now, Dame Julie, uh, speaking of stories, there's a, there's a great story that Emma has told about being three years old with her nanny at a department store and getting a little confused, <laughs> you with a life-size cardboard cutout of you as Mary Poppins. So, I mean, things well, like that. I, I think I have to let Emma tell it. Because please, please. You went, you went to the department store, I think, darling. and uh... I did. Uh, the, the movie had just come out, and I was about three years old, and I went with my nanny at the time uh, clothes shopping. And as so often happens in, in department stores, they had a display of the latest children's thing that was happening, which was Mary Poppins. And there was mom, life-size, in, in a cardboard cutout. And I said, oh, look, there's mommy. And then I suddenly realized that there were these two ladies shopping next to us. 
who were looking down at me and smiling and saying, isn't that sweet, that little girl? <laughs> mother is Mary Poppins. Oh, she thinks her mom's Mary Poppins. Sure. Oh, that's great. That's if they only girl. knew. That's right. Your mom is Mary Poppins. Really is. Yeah, yeah. But, but it really is mommy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course it is, yeah. sweetie. Of course it is. Sure. Now, Dave, Julie, you went right from Cherry Tree Lane to Austria to shoot, of course, The Sound of Music with the seven young actors playing the Von Trapp uh, children. And there was something that Emma's father, Tony, suggested Mary Poppins do in the film that greatly entertained the young Van Trapps. Tell us what it was. Oh, I, yes, we were, it was almost our very first day of shooting. And we were shooting the, um, the thunderstorm scene where I sing um, my favorite things to the children. And the children and I, we had rehearsed together and we were getting to know each other pretty well. And I'd forgotten who it was. One of them said, don't you sing a song in Mary Poppins uh, with a long, long word? And I said, yes, I do. And the thing is that Poppins, when we made Sound of Music, had not yet been released. So that was just rumor to them. And they said, could you sing it for us? So I sang it for them and uh, they loved it. And then I said, you know, uh, you can say it backwards too if you practice. And they said, oh, will you, will you? And <laughs> No, I did. <laughs> so wait a second. We, can you say it backwards? I can. I don't. I don't think I'll ever. I hope I won't ever forget it. Dosha Sally X V S Vic Fragic Ali Rupert. There and it is. Wow. Ethically backwards, but it sounds pretty good. I mean, it's That's hard amazing. enough to say it the right way. My goodness, that is it incredible. Dosha Sally X V S Vic Fragic Ali Rupert. Yes, there you are. Oh my gosh, Julie Andrews, you just made my entire life just singing that for us. I need you to know that. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> so, Emma, your godmother also just happens to be one of the world's most beloved legends as well, and your mom's best friend, the one and only Carol Burnett, who we have also had the pleasure of having in our home, and what a treat that was. My goodness, she had us in stitches laughing the whole time. What is it like yeah. to have her as your godmother? Uh, well, you know, she's, to me, just my godmom and mom's best friend. Of course, obviously, I, I know her work and adore her show and all of that. But um, but the times that we spent together were just family times. And I would play with her daughter while she and mom had tea and, and visited with each other. And just can I, much can like I, anybody else. Can I tell that? The story of having supper together, darling, when we, sure. um, every, when, every Wednesday evening, we used to go and have, uh, take the whole family when, whenever we could to uh, Hamburger Hamlet and uh, uh, in those days. And uh, quite often, to our happy surprise, Carol and her family were there too, same, same, uh, same place. So uh, we all mingled and got together one night and, and we're eating away, and Carrie, uh, Carol's daughter, said, oh, I dropped my napkin. And Emma very properly and sweetly said, Carrie, it's not napkin, it's napkin, she said, <laughs> <laughs> which is so sweet and made us all laugh a lot. Sorry, I knew I'd screw that up. Sorry, no, darling. <laughs> listen, Julie, we, Dame Julie, we could listen to you talk all day. It's so absolutely fun. We love it. And truly, just yeah, the was... visual of being in a hamburger hamlet and saying, seeing Carol Burnett and Julie Fox Andrews family, together, yeah. I bet people's minds were exploding when they'd walk into the restaurant. <laughs> now, because we are such big yeah. fans of Christmas here at Hallmark, we wanted to mention something so incredibly beautiful that you did for the little Swiss town, Stad, where uh, you kind of, uh, we, well, you helped we've out. We had a home home. in Stad, a, a beloved, and when we first went there, there were three Christmas lights across the main street. One was a horrible green shamrock. <laughs> there were four red candles, and I think it was a star. A shamrock candles and a star, and they were awful. And I said to my husband, Blake, uh, I said, How, this magical, beautiful village, you know, they really ought to decorate it with lights, and, and, and it would be so pretty. And he said, well, darling, if you feel that passionate about, about it, why don't you go do it? And I said... Can I? And he said, sure, go, do it. Well, uh, a year later, when yards and miles and, you know, uh, of, of, of lights had arrived from Korea and God knows where, and they went up, my heart was beating so fast. 
and then the village burst into life and it's been there ever since beautiful so, um, it's you know i'm known as as the uh, Lady of the light. Yeah. Lady of the light. Whoa. You know, Stad is almost as glamorous and as charming as you are, Dame Julie oh, Andrews. It is such a pretty place. And well, it's it's the one place where we all uh, go to to just be private and, and we escape and we have such fun. I don't know any member of the family that doesn't adore it. And rightly so. And I don't know any member of this planet that doesn't adore you, and rightly That's so. True, and right I there. would like to say thank you so much <laughs> for being here with us today. And thank you so much, Emma. You ladies are wonderful. Pleasure. You've certainly brightened our day. And you all at home, please be sure to pick up a copy of Homework wherever books are sold. Thank you, ladies. And thank you so much thank for being here, much. both of you.